no major videos out of Saints OTAs, man. Honestly, the whole time they really haven't gave us major, you know, video footage from OTAs. Hopefully for a mandatory mini camp, we do get some more. But man, I got some pictures going from the last day of OTAs. Now, kind of talk about some things I've been reading. God damn, Alante got some bunnies on him. But yeah, some things I've been reading out of uh, you know, OTAs. Uh, Penning, Pete McCoy, Ruiz, Ramchick. This has been the starting um. Lined up on the offensive line, that shouldn't surprise anyone. Um, the four guys from last year were going to stay in the first-round pick pinning. He's going to give, uh, you know, first-team reps. They did say Throckmorton, who did back up Andres Pete last year at left guard. He's been getting some right guard work. Honestly, that's important just because we need as many people as possible to be getting that right guard work because if Ruiz does not show up, we got to get him out of there. So, Throckmorton, who played well last year, is getting some right guard work. That's good to see. Oh, look, it's Chris Olave with his uh, best Alante Taylor rendition right there. But, man, uh, also, I did see that with some nice plays by Alante Taylor and Bryce Thompson on special teams. That's also a good thing to see just because, especially for Bryce Thompson, man, if he wants to make this team, it's going to have to be on special teams. It's like no ifs, ands, buts about it. Alante Taylor obviously being a second-round pick, you're going to make the team. But to guarantee yourself, you know, some playing time is going to have to be on special team. Uh, Marcus May, he's finally doing individual drills. He couldn't do drills um, last week. He was kind of just doing walkthroughs and stuff. Now he's advanced to individual drills. He's coming off that Achilles injury. So that's going to be good for him to finally, you know, get back moving. Jameis Winston, still not 100%. Still out there, you know, uh, going through it. He needs to, once mini camp is over next week, he needs to just focus on rehab, try to get close to 100% um, as possible. And from everything I've read, um, from different Saints reporters, the guys that are allowed to be there, man. The, the standouts from OTAs has been Lucas Crawl, you know, the tight end from Pitt, Bryce Thompson, the DB from Tennessee who came at the undrafted free agent class last year, and Abram Smith, the running back from Baylor who also played a little linebacker who can be a key special team role. The old three guys look like they're, I won't say they're in a driver's seat, well, I shouldn't say driver's seat, but they're in good position to make the team. And if they keep doing, you know, what they're doing, obviously it's going to get different once preseason rolls around, once you get those pads on. Guys, it gets a little different out there. Last, I want to talk about the punt coverage. Um, they did have a group out there for punt for punt coverage. It was Daniel Sorison, Justin Evans, Smoke Monday, Pete Warner, uh, Nephew Swell, Zach Wood, obviously Lone Snapper, Caden Ellis, Zach Bond, Andrew Dow, and Dwayne Washington. That group is going to be very, very important. And obviously you have the Gunners like Alante Taylor, Bryce Thompson has been getting work out there. I'm sure JT, JT Gray will be getting some work out there as well. But that, those little positions, man, it's going to be about, remember I said it's going to be about 45 guaranteed spots on the team. You know, somewhere between 40 and 45. And after that, it's going to be about seven to ten spots, and all those guys are going to be special teams guys. So that's going to be the biggest battles, you know, of training camp. Is basically who's going to win these special teams positions because those are going to be the guys that make the team. Um, obviously these guys all have their regular positions, but for the most part, these guys are fighting for special team spots, and that's going to be very, very fun to watch, at least in my opinion. But that'll wrap up the OTAs, man. It's been fun covering it, even though we didn't get a lot of footage. Um out of it this year hopefully mini camp and um you know when practice starts back up in august whenever it starts we get way way more footage and stuff like that but we still got enough man um excited to see Taysom hill out there also he didn't show up uh for otas i don't know what he has going on but dennis allen did say he expect everyone to miss that missed otas to be out there for mandatory mini camp so we'll finally get everyone you know on the roster back out there at one time that'll be a good sight to see as well but as always man it's the boot tragedy cinema